Today's video is going to be a little bit different than usual. We have some very exciting news. First of all, this is Charlie, our new cat that was adopted from the Humane Society. Good boy. All right. There's a few changes in my uh, Marine Land Aquarium, my Marine Land Cube 93 gallon aquarium. I ended up uh, buying a doser for it so I can uh, start dosing my calcium, my alkalinity, but it seems like I've always had problems with them being too low. And uh, that's in place now. Let me show it to you. There it is. It's the BRS pumps. They pretty much uh, take the liquid from these two containers. They take the liquid from those two containers right there. And uh, then the inlet, the, out, the outlet, takes it right up here into this sump. There's a couple of small little lines right there. I don't know if you can see them. Anyway, um, I have them dosing about 45 mLs a day every two hours. Two, a little bit over two minutes each time. It's been working really good. I also organized a little bit more with my uh, with all my um, connections. I always used to have a problem trying to figure out what each one of these outlets was with these plugs. Now at least I have everything organized where I know exactly what each one does if I have to shut one off. Which works out really, really nice. Some exciting news this, this morning. Uh, I got home and uh, I have I purchased a, a, an anemone a red bubble tip anemone and it's been doing great today I came home and I was wondering where it was at you can see it right there it looks a lot smaller than usual I look up and it has split it's the first time I've ever had an anemone split very exciting to me about this beautiful thing not too long ago and already it has split They're both doing great I'm gonna put covers on my power heads though just to make sure that they don't move somewhere near the power heads so there they are right there one's right there underneath the rock a little bit the other one is kind of where it was before. So, that was very exciting. There's my little, I don't know if you can see it, there's my yellow Watchman Gobi. That's his little hole right there. I'm not sure if the, uh, the little pistol shrimp is with them or not. I have not seen the pistol shrimp. But I do see sometimes uh, little caves. So at least the watchman's right there. Easy to find. So yeah, that's, uh, that's some big news on the anemone. I apologize for calling it anemone. But now I've got two of them. Two, two new mouths or two mouths to feed instead of one. Exciting, exciting stuff tank and give you a little bit of a, a view of it from far. It's doing great. I'm going to check the uh, levels today. Do a water change once a week, about 10 gallons, 10 to 15 gallons. This is my uh, Melanaris Ross. So far very peaceful. Very happy with uh, 
with it being in my tank. It's one of the few fish besides the pajamas and obviously the uh, the tang, the koei tang that actually swims higher up. And the rest of them love to be in the uh, in the cave. But this lagoon cave. Okay, as you can see the tank is thriving. It's not too many changes, but but it's doing good. And uh, this pumps, this uh, BRS dosers, I think are really going to help me with uh, getting my my levels more stabilized. Obviously they're not too bad because otherwise that anemone, anemone would not be so healthy. There's a little black clown, I don't know if you can see it. He loves to sit on that perch, on that perch, the SPS, bird's eye. And there's also a yellow one in there. And there's the or orchid dotty back. And also a little crab inside there. Uh, let's see if you can kind of see it. It's kind of hard to see anyway. There he is, right there, there's the little crab. Just eating things in there. Okay. A lot of life. All very healthy.